Hey guys. Hey Aswa. Hey. Hi Aswa. Hey, sit down, sit down. So, what's the progress of our business so far? So, Leo and I are still figuring out uh, which suitable container should be, but then we haven't found any suitable shape yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe you could give us some help, Aswa. Hmm, sure, why not? Uh, so, let's see what information we have. So let's see, um, so each bottle will have at least 100 grams of chocolate bits and let's see the volume of 100 grams of chocolate bits is um, 41.6 centimeter cube yeah. What shape do you guys think is suitable for our container? Uh, can you guys suggest any shape? I've got an idea, um, how about a rectangle container? No! I think a hexagonal prism container is more suitable. Hexagonal? Actually guys, I think the cylinder shaped container would be more suitable to store our chocolate bars. It's because uh, it's easy to hold and suitable to arrange our chocolate bars. Yeah, I think I agree with you as well. Now we know that the shape of the container is a cylinder. Therefore, the formula to find the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h and we also have to find the surface area for the cylinder so by using the formula 2 pi r h by 2 pi r square and we can find the surface area of the cylinder yeah wow. looks like we have all the information we need now let's start doing the calculation all right let's all go right, let's go what is the definition of differentiation Differentiation is a method used to find the rate of change of a function f(x) with respect to its input x. The process of finding the derivative by taking the limit is known as differentiation from the first principle. Other methods that could be used to find the derivative is by using the basic rules such as the product rule, the quotient rule, and also the chain rule. Moving on to the problem statement, a business partnership consisting of three individuals are facing challenges in effectively selling their chocolate bead cookies and achieving desired business growth. The problem is, they need to find a suitable container that could fit the chocolate bead cookies perfectly and nicely. Let's see how the three individuals solve this problem. Let's start the calculation here. The information that we obtain is volume of chocolate bits per 100 gram is equals to 41.6 cm cube and the formula that we have chosen is volume of the cylinder which is equals to pi r square h and the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square firstly we have to find the volume of chocolate bits for 500 grams so we know that the volume of chocolate bits for 100 gram is equivalent to 41.6 cm cube. So to find the 500 grams of chocolate bits, we have to multiply the 41.6 cm cube by 5 and we get the answer which is 208 cm cube which is the volume of chocolate bits for the 500 gram. Now, we have to find the value of H which is in the volume formula of the cylinder. Firstly, we have to equal volume and 208 cm cube. Then, we have to change the volume into equation form which is pi r square h equals to 208. Then, we have to move the pi and r square to the other side of the equation and that leaves us with h equals to 208 divided by pi r square. After we find the value of h, then we need to substitute the value of h in the surface area formula, which the area is equals to 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square, which then equals to 2 pi r in column 208 over pi r square, and of column plus 2 pi r square. Then the answer will be 416 over r plus 2 pi r square. After substituting the value of h in the area of formula, we need to differentiate the equation by which we start with dA over dr equals to negative 416 over r square plus 4 pi r 
equals to zero. Four pi r equals to four hundred sixteen over r square, which goes to four pi r cube equals to four hundred sixteen, which then goes to r cubic equals to four hundred sixteen over four pi, and it goes to r cube equals to thirty three point one zero four two. And the R will be three point two one zero nine centimeter. Then we need to do the second derivative, which is d a square over d square R equals to four hundred sixteen over R cube plus four pi, which equals to four hundred sixteen over three point two one zero nine cube plus four pi, and the answer goes to twenty five point one three two eight. Which is more than zero. The area minimum is at R equals to three point two one zero nine centimeter. Therefore, the radius that minimizes the surface is three point two centimeter. When R is equal to three point two one zero nine centimeter, and pi R square h is equal to two hundred eight, so uh, to find h, we will bring pi R square to the right. Then it's equal to two hundred eight divided by pi three point two one zero nine square, and the answer is six point four two one eight centimeter. Therefore, the minimum value of the height is six point four two one eight centimeter. Now we know that the height of container is six point four two one eight centimeter, and the radius that minimizes the surface is three point two centimeter. Wow, I didn't know it would be so easy to find a suitable container by using application of differentiation. Yeah, that's true. Without our first help, we wouldn't find a suitable container. Thanks, Saspa. No problem. Well, let's head back. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> well. That was one of the examples of situation where we have to use the applications of differentiation in life. From the story, we know that in every situation or problems we face in our daily life, we can solve by using the application of differentiation. I hope you guys can all learn on how to apply the applications of differentiation in your daily lives. And as the quote says, every problem in your life always has a solution. That is all from us. My name is Danish. And my name is Leo. Thank you for watching.